we've noticed that, you know, when we review the literature of downward construction, uh, that, you know, despite the many advancements in this field, you know, there's, a, there's a high risk of post-operative complications and especially hernia recurrence. And that can result in mortality, morbidity, and healthcare costs and lower quality of life for some patients. So in our upcoming study in JAKS, we leverage machine learning, which is a subset of artificial intelligence to identify patients at high risk of hernia recurrence, uh, surgical complications, and 30-day readmission after abdominal reconstruction. So we use our institutional data and we trained machine learning to preoperatively predict which patients are at high risk of complications. And then we found that machine learning algorithms trained using our own data could accurately predict the occurrence of complications after complex abdominal reconstruction. And it was also able to identify factors associated with poor outcomes. And surprisingly, it also outperformed traditional statistical methods, including logistic regression. And our findings uh, really support incorporating machine learning into the preoperative assessment of patients undergoing abdominal reconstruction to really provide data-driven, patient-specific risk assessment and potentially improve outcomes. It really does give the surgeon and the patient uh, an ability to have a shared decision-making about having the procedure, when to have the procedure, and in some situations, exactly what procedure is going to be done. So the algorithms that we developed were using, we developed using our own institutional data. Um, however, machine learning can learn and improve actually with the addition of new data. And we're actually now uh, conducting a multi-center study um, to incorporate data from other centers to increase the performance and make the models much better. And when we have this multi-center uh, trial, we'll be adding uh, additional patients from different geographies, from different types of institution, whether it be academic or community setting. We can put this information in, use that as a training and validating uh, set to be able to, to basically hone in and tweak the um, algorithms so that they would be the most broad algorithms that could be used by anybody potentially worldwide to be able to get a very accurate picture of risk and the risk factors associated with these complications.